Well, I don't know what force of wind a typhoon is, but whatever it is, we've got it here at Craven Cottage, Fulham, where Fulham, the bottom club, meet Liverpool, the top club. Now, if anything is certain in association football, this is a clash of certainties, because it looks as certain as a Perry Mason victory that Fulham will go down to the second division at the end of the season, and as certain as an uncle triumph over Thrush that Liverpool will be the champions of the first division. Fulham, just one victory in their last 15 league games, Liverpool undefeated in the league since Boxing Day, and now nine points ahead of their nearest rivals and only 11 games to go before the end of the season. So, things are looking bright for Liverpool, things looking black for Fulham, whose manager, Vic Buckingham, is away today looking for new players. But Fulham themselves remember their great showing last week when they were three down at Tottenham and came back to level the scores three all. And they keep the same team as made that wonderful recovery. The only change really that Fulham have made is purely positional. Leggett has come inside instead of playing on the wing. And we're going to see Johnny Haynes playing as a deep-lying centre forward. But of course the start of this Fulham side is undoubtedly the world-class fullback George Cohen, who is the captain of the side. And he'll, of course, be being all out uh, this afternoon to stop the man who was his colleague last Wednesday for England, the inside right. There is number eight of Liverpool, Roger Hunt. There is number eight, the chief goal-scoring star of the Liverpool team. Now, the Liverpool team, one thing we have got to watch there is that Smith will come back there alongside Yates, but watch Lawler, number two, the man who keeps coming through and getting many vital goals. So, with Liverpool at full strength, Fulham, with what they think their strongest team out, were all set for the match of the day between bottom and top, Fulham versus Liverpool. So Liverpool to kick off. Liverpool actually playing it all red. The world famous strip now, and away they go, all warmed up, of course, to play their Cup Winners' Cup tie against Honved in Budapest on Tuesday and pick up two points today. Well, they've got everything in their favour. Their mascot, Jimmy Tarbuck, is in the stand watching them, and his mill. Well, almost a goal in the first few seconds, but a corner to. Liverpool. Referee for this game, Mr. Aldous of Suffolk and Callaghan at the corner for Liverpool. Hunt to St. John. Made the right ground that quickly. And Yates penalized for using his elbows, and poor old Bobby Robson really getting in trouble in this match. Now Haynes, the deep lying centre forward to take the free kick for Fulham. Fulham remember desperate for points. Fulham with only one victory since October the 30th. That was when they beat Arsenal 1-0 on New Year's Day. Five minutes gone, no score. This is Pearson. Pearson to the left half. Brown. Pearson again. There's Haynes. Well, he moved well into position. Away goes Thompson and Milne on the left wing. Callaghan in the middle. Lovely to see this fluid football that Liverpool play. Callaghan. The only 
teams to have beaten Liverpool. Boxing Day, well, the only team is Chelsea in the Cup. Liverpool won at Anfield on Boxing Day. gone no score Fulham coming forward it's leg up and his hands moving into it inside right up the oh, goal scored by no the outside right brilliant goal ten minutes gone there's Johnny Haynes, the man whose pass was headed into the net by Earl. So, Liverpool, the lead leaders are a goal to nil down. See how Liverpool are going to react to this. Can they react? These two champions should. This is Callaghan there, outside right. That's the fine reaction, almost equaliser. Thompson. St John. Back to Moon. Goal kick to Fulham. And there's the young goal, scheme, the goal scorer, Stan, uh, Steve Earl. Number seven, the outside right. And it's certainly proving a handful of this Liverpool defence. Oh, that is stick letting in. Hunt has got St John with him. Should be the equaliser. Corner. The double nines and John. Should have had a goal then. Corner being taken by Callaghan. Again, that shortish one. Calling for the back header by Hunt. And Robson getting that one away. Liverpool <laughs> trying to pile on the pressure now. A big reversal of their normal away tactics. This is Thompson, the outside left. That's right. That one by Smith. Here comes the tank. Yates to Hunt. This is Lawler, the right back. John. And Liverpool are turning it all on, but Fulham sticking grimly to this one goal lead. Earl with the throw. Now Haynes. Barrett just hadn't got the height there. And uh, every man jack of that pack crowd comes from Liverpool. Strangely silent at the moment.
Fulham are going for the ball now with a big determination and really shaking Liverpool. This is Yates. Smith. Hunt. Beautiful one to St. John. And no wonder Ian St. John holds his head in his hands. Oh, I wonder what he's thinking now. That's two Ian St. John has missed. Busy B, leg it again. Two. Robson. Well, the Fulham players have really got their fans roaring now. Well, offside. The referees allowed the goal kick to be taken. This had a goal kick or free kick a few yards away. going to get number two. Just Liverpool getting themselves into a spot of bother. Spirited showing this has been by Fulham. Now for Liverpool, here's St. John. Hunt and no, it's a corner. Stan Brown, the man who picked it away. Defensive wing half, keeping close to his centre half back. Once again, Smith moving up. This is always strange to see in a Liverpool formation. Milne to Lawler. They're challenging for every ball. They're not allowing Liverpool to settle on the ball at all. And Fulham still lead 1-0 quarter of an hour left of the first half. No kick. <laughs> Cleland, of course, quite happy to Take the goal kicks himself now with the wind more or less behind him. He's getting tremendous distance. Whereas Lawrence here is pushed to get any distance at all, kicking against the wind. That was a good one, but don't forget that was out of his hands. Robson back to Brown. Dempsey making certain he was free then. And here comes Cohen doing a spot of overlapping. Barrett. And he hates getting it away, but more than one ball has come right across that Liverpool goal. Callaghan. Callaghan out to Hunt. Chasing back into defence. This 
Francis Cohen once again. Great player, this fellow. Fulham Victor today will be a real coup and buster, but at the moment it's definitely on. Smith, he's got Lawler free on his right. Here's Lawler. They get coming into challenge immediately. You see, no one's allowed any free space or free time at all. Back to Leggett. Lovely pass by Young Barrett. Anybody on the right? Haynes coming at top speed, but he's not got enough. My goodness, he has. Fantastic run by Haynes. Fantastic piece of sprinting by Johnny Haynes. Throw to Fulham. This is Cohen. Oops. Leggett. Well, it's splendid stuff by Fulham. Justifying that applause and the cheers from supporters and from a lot of the neutrals and Liverpool supporters beautiful ball by Haynes field for throw linesman flagging furiously it is a throw to Liverpool John, there's nobody on this right wing. It's a free ball for Bellin. Now Leggett. Barrett's moving a wee bit offside. Now he's all right. Young Barrett. Into Robson. And Leggett. Robson. Earl's gone in the centre forward position. Here's Haynes. That's Barrett on his right. Got it in the face, Mill putting his feet up. Referee almost doing himself untold damage, demonstrating to the crowd why he's given a free kick. Free kick to Fulham, an indirect free kick for dangerous play, and to be taken by Haynes. Potential champions to play. Thompson. This is Hunt. Well, that one nearly crept in, didn't it? Anyway, we might see a different Liverpool after a, a half time pep talk from their manager, Bill Shankly. We won't be satisfied with this. is Barrett. Haynes moving to this one. Liverpool's throw. No, the linesman. Yes, the linesman has given it to Liverpool. Or he'd give it the other way. Number six is Stevens. Haynes almost running into trouble now. Hunt. St. John. There's Hunt at vintage Liverpool move and beautifully cut off by Brown, the left half of him. Fine reading of the game by him. We're now playing the time added on for injuries. And it's a throw to Fulham. Lead 1-0. There's Brown, the man who save what would have been a certain equaliser. Robson. Can climb up to that one. Roberts. The 
Liverpool want to go in and half time all level they've got to do something mighty quickly here comes St John good one back to Thompson chance teed up for Smith good move by Liverpool there's Tom Smith where's number 10 but of course plays in the defence all the time Chris Dempsey doing very well against St John and away comes Nichols for Philip Look at his watch. And Thompson being fouled by the outside right. Earl. And two minutes of injury time under our belts. We have a free kick to Liverpool. One nil down. St. John out of the game at the moment, having trouble with his boot. He's missing his boot up. Side, but there's one man who doesn't care what it is because he's still having trouble with that right boot. St. John. And the whistle goes for half time as the crowd rise to Fulham who lead one goal to nil. And well, might the crowd rise to Fulham after that first half display because it's been a real corker against Liverpool who've been carrying all before them. Certainly Fulham deserved this one goal lead which I'm sure when it goes up on the half-time scoreboards at grounds throughout the country will cause so many gasps and oohs of disbelief. Anyway, we'll have to see whether we can see a better Liverpool in this second half. I should imagine the talking to they're getting from Bill Shankly might well pay off in the second half. But if Fulham keep on playing like this, well, they could get two very valuable points. And whatever happens in the rest of the match, Fulham in the white shirts will be able to remember their fine performance in the first half. 1-0 they lead. The goal scored by Earl. Interesting to see whether we have much different Liverpool in the second half. That's the goal kick to Fulham, and I know that there are a couple of Belgian journalists here. No doubt they came expecting to see Liverpool put up a great display, but they will hardly believe that Fulham are favourites for relegation the way they play today. Liverpool started confidently, but there's no confidence in their work at all now. They seem to have lost their rhythm. Wow, by Callaghan, a very late challenge for the ball, bringing down Nichols. Nichols, all right. Left half back Brown. Going to take the free kick. Now you can see from that paper, it keeps flashing across your screen, how strong the wind is. This is Barrett. Haynes are neatly cut off by Smith. That's not quite as near Earl as some of the spectators thought. Well played, Brown took a pretty calmly and coolly. Thompson. Thompson to Hunt. Oh, good one, and McClellan swiped just in time. Not for a moment, the have gone the wrong way. Barrett keeping that in 
Beautifully. Oh, back to Haynes. Robson moving up. Stevenson missing that one. A glorious shot by Robson. those long kicks from Lawrence now they could well upset the Fulham defenders Smith to Callaghan 10 minutes of the second half gone and still Fulham the bottom dogs 1-0 in the lead against the top dogs Liverpool now is that then for a turn up for the book Haynes Will we get out to Leggett? And a foul on Milne. Free kick to Liverpool. Nice to see Mr. Aldous, the referee places the ball for free kicks so that we know where they should be taken Smith up goes Yates and Haynes gives away a corner this must be the most heartening performance by a Fulham team for a long long time oh, Smith even come up for Liverpool now. It's Thompson. Yates. I got too far underneath it. There's Yates. He played centre forward for Scotland in the World Cup match in Naples. Stevenson to Callaghan. Liverpool know this as well as Fulham do, and they're trying to make these Fulham youngsters chase around. Haynes to Leggett. Cohen moving up on the right. Back come Liverpool are now. Using Smith as an attacker, he's left the defensive setup. Thompson. Now Callaghan. Maybe a shot. Number seven in Callaghan. Many Mersey siders feel he should be in the England side. Robson, who used to be in the England side. And a very fine member of it he was as well. John put the throw for Liverpool. Mill. Now Callaghan. James by Brown. Here comes Yates. Mill. Hunt. Once again, Brown has played a sterling game for Fulham. to Stevenson and back come Liverpool I think the crowd are beginning to sense the fact that Liverpool are trying to run Fulham into the ground and they're urging their favourites on giving them a little extra bit of pop which can see them through to a much needed victory oh, Cohen come on the right Lagging for offside anyway. I think that was meant for a shot. And if anybody says anything to young Steve Earl, the outside right there is, you'll say, well, who headed the goal that put us 1-0 in the lead against the champions elect? 
viewers in Leeds ignore that demand for that champions elect. And here's Thompson, number 11 for Liverpool. Ryan saves Smith. Well, they swing and they sway. It's almost like the cop, doesn't it? That's the Hammersmith end at Craven Cottage. In case you think of the Spa and Cop Liverpool. Liverpool still having four men in as their back row, but they're alternating with Stevenson and Milne as the fourth member of it. Smith has moved up. And here's Pearson. That's confidence that you'll like cheeky things like that against the team at the top of the league. Pearson again to Haynes. And Pearson. This is a spirited full of performance. Now it's Stevenson up to Hunt. And can St. John make it? Corner if it goes. Well, it looked as if Dempsey took it over, but Lightman was right on the spot. Anyway, Fulham deserve a spot of luck. Now, Leggett. This is young Barrett. That's a beautiful ball to him. There's Haynes going on Barrett's left. Liverpool are going to stage a mass appeal, but it's the second goal. The linesman, the referee has looked at the linesman, but uh, no, it's a goal and the notebook has come out, the referee's notebook has come out, and it's Yates. Yates getting his name, no, he's not getting his name taken. So now, how long have we got to go? to go and Liverpool are two down. Other. And well this is Chief Boyle, the following fans supporting their side bottom of the league and now chanting easy, easy, easy. I don't let anybody bring the Fulham fans that they on this day, that team have played magnificent. Ah, this is Robson. 15 league games and an FA Cup game. Fulham have gone with only one win, and now they lead 2 0 against all teams Liverpool and the linesman has flagged he wants the referee ah I think I think Yates is in trouble Yates has obviously said something and he's getting his name taken Yates claiming that he's only urging his players on, as indeed he's entitled to, as the captain. But the referee, on the advice of the linesman, has taken Yates's name.
wickets. Leg it up to him. Well, the butt won that tackle as much as anything. It's very muddy in that centre circle. And in that mass of people now, uh, I think there was more policemen than members of the public. I don't think anybody in the way to Prim Cottage this afternoon expected that with under 10 minutes left for play, Fulham would be leading Liverpool by two goals to nil. Not only leading Liverpool, but deserving to be in the lead. That's John! That's St. John. Oh, a great one by the challenge. A great one. There's Jack McClellan, the man of Arsenal let go for a song. What a sweet song it is for Fulham. Liverpool's throw. been playing like this during this terrible spell otherwise they wouldn't be firmly rooted at the bottom of the table there's Haynes now McClellan not having any of that nonsense the lungs must be bursting in the Fulham team but everyone's got to hang on to the very end Callagher and MC gotta get away then Pearson Five minutes left, and the play now is concentrated in the full of half of the field. And both goals scored by Earl, the outside right. Well, the way now goes the young outside left Barrett. Cohen moving up. As Cohen and Lola gives away a corner. Oh, how long is it since you saw Fulham play stuff like this? And Haynes to take the corner. I haven't seen smiles like that at Cray. Oh, what's he doing looking so glum? The fellow with a hood over his head. You can say you haven't seen smiles like that at Cray Cottage for a long time. I think a glum looking youngster must have been from Liverpool. Now, Pearson. Crowd now shouting ole every time Fulham passed the ball from man to man. And here comes the chance of easy, easy again. Stevenson, Liverpool. John 
goes off. St. John goes off, and once again, the retaliator has paid the penalty. No doubt about it, St. John committed the first foul, then the fight started. And on comes the Liverpool player, a uh, Liverpool spectator. And he's just escorting St. John off the darling of the cop being taken off. And now Bob Paisley appeals for St. John to come off. Always it's the man who retaliates who goes. What a black day then for Liverpool. Certain defeat. And St. John sent off. And That's Cohen, but there's somebody else here. It's now... It's full. 45 minutes are up now, but there's Cohen rolling in agony, and Johnny Haynes got a bad bump as well. That's Cohen, and... Seems midway between the knee and the ankle. Haynes is on his feet, all right. He's got a, a bad rap. Oh, what a pity that a game like this should have ended on such a sour note. But don't let it take any credit away from Fulham for this fine performance and deserved victory. We can't, we can't afford George Cohen to get injured, not only for Fulham's sake, but for England's sake. Because Cohen must rank as one of the greatest fullbacks in the world. all over any second now but of course we had quite a lot of stoppages in the second half you notice that signal from the linesman then that was to signal to the referee that it's all over and it is Fulham have scored a great victory a great victory two goals to nil Fulham have beaten Liverpool and a deserved victory and what a coupon buster this is Well, this could be a very serious defeat for Liverpool because not only have they dropped two points, but with Ian St. John sent off, he'll now have to appear before the Football Association could be suspended, which will mean that in the vital run into the championship, Liverpool might well be without this very fine player. Now, Liverpool's defeat today, their first since Boxing Day, cuts their lead at the top of the first division they started this morning nine points ahead they're now only eight points ahead Manchester United are running them closest they're in second spot Leeds United their most dangerous rivals though and another point away and Burnley who were beat today have now dropped to fourth spot now Fulham it's a good job for them that they did win because Blackburn Rovers their struggling partners right at the bottom they too won Northampton Town dropped a point and so Blackburn and Fulham have been able to close the gap, if ever so slightly. But certainly on today's form, Fulham don't deserve to go down. They played with tremendous spirit, tremendous courage, tremendous skill, thoroughly deserved their victory. But I hope the saddest team today, Nottingham Forest, who this morning spent £65,000 buying Joe Baker from Arsenal, and then their game was postponed, so they weren't able to show him off to their spectators. The result of the match of the day again, Fulham 2 Liverpool nil, a real shocker of the season that, and may I remind you that we'll have another match of the day for you again next Saturday. Till then, good night.